Welcome back to the show. Our next guest is Karen Martin, Acting Director for Marketing and Communications for the CRDA, which is the Casino Reinvestment Development Authority. Karen, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Mike, for having me today to talk about Atlantic City Restaurant Week. Yeah, so again, one of my favorite things to do, whether it's in Atlantic City or anywhere, but of course, Restaurant Week is such a, a special time of the year. Uh, we're going to talk about that in a minute or two. Karen, let the folks know at home a little bit about yourself. Well, my name's Karen Martin. I do live locally down here now uh, for the past probably 40 years. Um, I've worked in the casinos for part of my career and then most recently with the Convention and Visitors Authority and uh, CRDA. And the CRDA, their function is to beautify the city uh, events and uh, whether it was the pandemic or what went on, you guys have a big hand in the city and we couldn't be more uh, happy that you're in the city with us. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. So let, let's get to this uh, restaurant week. Listen, I think we're on year 14, 15, 20. I don't know. Talk to us about that and the inception and how this was uh, thought of. Mike, you are correct. This is the 14th year for Atlantic City Restaurant Week, and we're always excited to be able to present that to Atlantic City's residents and visitors. Um, it started back in 2009, and um, you never know what you're going to get from year to year. Some new restaurants open, and we're happy to be able to offer that as part of our repertoire for Atlantic City Restaurant Week. Uh, there are 57 restaurants participating this year, and uh, we're, we're just excited with the diversity of the cuisines that visitors and everyone else will get to um, sample. And that's one of the beautiful things. Um, not that I was going to take this interview that way, but the uniqueness of, of Restaurant Week in Atlantic City itself. A small town, 48 blocks, as everyone knows. Uh, that watches this show or listens to our radio show on WOND. But, you know, whether it's American, Italian, Afghan, French, talk to us about that a little bit. I mean, what a great, um, you know, choice uh, for people to have, whether it's lunch or dinner. You're very right. And um, just the variety of cuisines that are offered in Atlantic City is probably second to no one. Um, there are a lot of ethnic restaurants that um, participate and the cuisine is just divine. There's always steak and seafood right. and Italian, so I think we offer something that will please pretty much any palate. And, and there you go. I mean, one of my favorite places of newer to the city is Satara, uh, French and Afghan. Uh, we got, you know, the Vietnamese, uh, we Italian. Like, I mean, I could go on and on. The Dockerties, when you say steak and seafood mm -hmm. in Atlantic City, how can you not think of what they do? So. Let's talk about the event itself. Uh, it's a three-course dinner and lunch. You know, there is a price. Uh, we'll talk about that down the road. But tell us, the folks, how that works. And again, the time period. So it's October 2nd through the 7th uh, this year. And um, the lunch and dinner menus all feature three-course menus. So you get an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert, or a choice of appetizers, entrees, or dessert. And you can go to www.acrestaurantweek.com to find out menus and um, which restaurants are offering lunch or dinner and what days that they are participating. And 57 of them, folks. Listen, make sure you uh, get to uh, www.restaurantweek. acrestaurantweek.com. Again, here we are uh, into 2022. Take us back a little bit what it was like last year and then, you know, the, 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 the change of date. We've talked about a little bit pre-interview. Talk a little bit about that with the folks. Sure. Um, it was originally um, an idea that came to help uh, drive visitation in the shoulder season for Atlantic City. And March seemed to be the agreed upon uh, time back then. So for the first 12 years, we did hold it the first week of March. Mm -hmm. We encountered a few difficulties weather-wise back then, but we were always still able to pull it off. Uh, then, of course, in 2020, we were able to get Restaurant Week in right before everything shut down. So when it came time to plan for 2021, we didn't want to not offer uh, this great event um, to everyone. And 
we polled our restaurant partners and uh, some of our visitors and asked if it would make sense if we could move it to October because at right. the time we really didn't know what was going on as the rest of the world. Um, so the decision was made to move it to October. So we did hold it in October in 2021. And again, it was very successful and our partners all seem to agree that, that that was a good time of year for them to be able to concentrate on offering these value, uh, this value for Atlantic City Restaurant Week menus. Right. Uh, then that's awesome. So uh, again, to be able to figure it out with so many different restaurants and whatnot, and to be able to put it together, I mean, I'm sure this is not a, a one woman thing. You got a nice team that you work with. Absolutely. How is the, corporate, uh, the, the cooperation with all the rest of it? Because let's face it, COVID, normally just be busy right i mean mm -hmm. if it wasn't that uh staffing uh that sort of thing putting a menu together mm -hmm. how is it to work with some of these folks well this has been a difficult year yeah. a couple of years for our restaurants so um we we do understand that they're facing a lot of issues with staffing and with um, food prices supply chain issues we could go on and on but uh, the restaurants that are participating really do their best. A lot of them use locally sourced, mm. seasonable items. So um, the menus really come out really great. So right. we're hoping everyone will, will take a chance and try something new. Go to your favorite, but it is a great opportunity. You mentioned many cuisines that we yeah. do have available in Atlantic City and that are participating. So maybe take the chance and, and try a new food if, if you if you're so moved. And that's the way uh, I've been, you know, uh, being a, a Latino, uh, you know, background and whatnot. So I was cool with the Latin food and, and our American food and whatnot. But moving to Atlantic City, you know, I wasn't brought to, you know, the Vietnamese food and the, and the Afghan. And not that I didn't try, but it's so there. And, and I encourage uh, our viewers to please uh, take Karen's uh, suggestion. Get out there. I know we all have our regular places that we love mm -hmm. and whatnot, but there are so many options here that you, uh, your head will spin off. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm going to even go through some of these uh, restaurants. I mean, Boca, you got, it's not just Atlantic City, too. That's, that, that's what I want you to hit on, too. Mike, that's a great point. It is Atlantic City Restaurant Week, but we do represent uh, restaurants throughout the region um, from Ventnor, Egg Harbor Township. Right. Um, and it is a regional event, and I, I think people have a, a, an opportunity to get out there and, and try new foods or go, go to your favorites or do both. It's, it's a, a week-long event, so there's plenty of time right. to try them all. And, and there it is, folks. we got a, about 30 seconds left of this interview. Listen, AtlanticCityRestaurantWeek.com. One more time. ACRestaurantWeek.com. There you go, ACRestaurantWeek.com. Coming October... Second through the seventh. I put you on the spot. She's got it. Listen, stay right where you're at. We'll be right back with our next guest.